came down to crash out, we use a lot of slang in the lab, and I don't want you to feel left out, so I hope you're down for a discussion of some biochemistry slang involving the words out and down. Hopefully this will help you understand what we're talking about when we talk about things like knockout. Let's start on a down note. Spin down, this just means to centrifuge something. More specifically, it's typically referring to sedimentation. There are a couple of different types of centrifuging. Um, so basically this is just where you stick the sample in a machine and it's gonna spin it really fast. When you do sedimentation, what's gonna happen is that the big heavy stuff is kind of going, the undissolved stuff is gonna get pulled out. Um, it's gonna get um, pelleted on into this solid clump with the liquid, the supernatant still above it. So this is an example of sedimentation. This is as opposed to if you do some sort of gradient centrifugation, where instead of just sticking your sample in the tube, you stick your sample on top of a gradient that's made of something like sucrose, and then things are going to separate based on their density and things like this in the gradient. But when we're talking about spin down, we're typically referring to a pelleting step where we're pelleting out the undissolved stuff and leaving the liquid supernatant above it. Pull down. This is when you do an IP, so an immunoprecipitation or a related technique, where you capture one molecule, which you call the bait, um, usually to see what it's bound to, the prey. We often do it on these cool magnetic beads, where basically the beads have something that's going to be able to stick to your bait. It's going to capture your bait, you wash everything else off, and then you can get your prey. We call it an IP or an immunoprecipitation when we're using an antibody attached to those beads in order to capture our bait protein. And we refer to it as a co-IP when we're basically trying to look and see what that protein was bound to. There are other types of pull down where you can use things like an affinity tag in order to capture that bait protein. And all of these will be referred to as pull downs. There's also knockdown. Um, knockdown is totally different. This is what we're doing. We're doing this inside of cells. Where we're basically trying to reduce temporarily or irreversibly reduce the expression of a gene, typically by lowering the levels of its messenger RNA. Via RNA interference, something using siRNA or shRNA, et cetera. So the instructions for making a protein are in the form of a gene, and then messenger RNA copies of that gene get made, when those copies get used by the ribosomes in order to make the corresponding protein. If you reduce the levels of the messenger RNA, you can reduce the levels of the protein. And this is a strategy taken by RNA interference or RNAi. You design these guides, these small RNAs that are going to be used by a protein called Argonaut. Argonaut is going to use those small RNAs as guides to find and bind to messenger RNA targets that have complementary sequences and then cut those sequences. We call this slicing um, and then those sequences will get degraded. However, because you're targeting the a messenger RNA as opposed to the actual gene, this is going to be reversible and you can use it to lower the levels without actually reducing them all the way. And importantly, you're not reducing them all the way permanently. With a knockout, basically you're, you're eliminating the cell's ability to ever make that protein again by actually going and messing with the original gene. Typically this is done with some sort of like CRISPR-Cas system where you have this CRISPR RNA is going to serve as a guide to direct this cast machinery, this protein, um, to a gene of interest that you want to knock out. The cast protein is then going to cut that gene. The cell is going to try to fix it, um, and sometimes it will fix it, but other times it'll make mistakes. And if it makes mistakes, then that can cause to the deactivation of that gene and the prevention of any sort of protein from getting made from it ever again. And so that would be a knockout as opposed to a knockdown. How this conventionally works is you have this CRISPR-Cas9 system where the CRISPR protein, you program it with an RNA guide that's going to tell it where you want it to cut in the gene. It's going to go to that gene and cut the gene. The cell is going to try to fix it. The cell is not going to um, be able to fix it. 
and they are going to get an error that's going to irreversibly damage that gene and cause the you to never be able to make that protein again in those cells and all the cells that are made from it. So that's the knockout where you're damaging the actual gene and the knockdown is when you're reducing the levels of the messenger RNA. So knockout is going to be permanent um, and knockdown is going to be temporary. Knockout is going to be full, fully um, eliminate the expression and knockdown is just going to be reducing it. How about crash out? Crash out, I did a whole post on this yesterday. It basically means to precipitate or to come out of solution. And we're typically only using this term when we are upset that it happened. Like it's not using a good connotation. Um, basically, if you want your protein to stay soluble and it crashes out, it precipitates, um, then that's not a good thing. This can happen for a variety of reasons, especially during things like dialysis when you're changing the buffer conditions. Um, going from something that the protein likes and maybe you're changing it into a buffer that it turns out the protein doesn't like too much and so it comes out of solution. And I have tips on how to avoid that, um, such as by avoiding high concentration, um, that don't change things too drastically, especially the salt concentration, so you don't want to go too low. Um, and if it does happen, you can troubleshoot on a small portion to find conditions that might might be able to resolubilize your protein or conditions that you could use in the future. And so more on that in the other post. Precipitation isn't always bad though. And so sometimes we want things to precipitate. Um, so we can actually use the term salt out where we actually add a lot of salt on purpose to get something to precipitate. So proteins, they tend to precipitate in low salt as well as high salt. And we take advantage of this in crystallography when we want to come, we we'll want proteins to come out of solution, but in an orderly fashion. So instead of just aggregating, we want them to form these nice orderly arrays called crystals. And one way that we can promote this crystallization is by adding a bunch of salt. So we can use this technique salting out where we add a bunch of salt in order to purposefully get that protein to precipitate. So when we talk about crashing out, that's not a good thing. Um, but when we talk about salting out, then, then we're actually doing it on purpose. No matter what, don't get lost in the jargon. And remember to always geek out because biochemistry is awesome. And I feel so fortunate to be able to do it every day for my job. So have fun and hope this helps you um, stay, up to, stay up to date with all the cool slang we use and not get lost because... We can use some weird words and kind of forget that people might not work, use, um, know this what we're talking about. So hope this helps. If there are other terms that you're confused by, I have a glossary on my blog, which I where I have a bunch of different terms. And if you look, if you're reading a blog version of one of my posts and you scroll over a term, it'll help explain it for you. Um, and if you click on that link, it'll take you to the actual book glossary entry for that um, for that term. If there are other terms that you're confused about, I have a Google Doc where I have various terms and definitions for some abbreviations and some slang. I'm kind of crowdsourcing this. So if there are other terms that you want added, um, then please feel free to add them and I'll post a link to this page. Um, so this is just trying out a sort of short little post format, a little bonus type thing on some slang. And maybe I'll do some future ones in the some more ones um, in the future if people if people find this helpful.